Hey guys, so a few of you are asking me to record a beginner eyebrow tutorial, so here it is today. And I also have a makeup tutorial coming up on this look, so stay tuned for that. I'm starting off with this spoolie. This brush is actually from AliExpress. It's a dollar. If I can find the link, I'll try to list it below. But I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate today. And I'm actually using the angled side of the brush now. As you can see, it's duly ended. So I like to start with the bottom of my brow, and I'm just following my natural lining here. I don't get my eyebrows waxed. I usually just arch them myself, which is why they're a little funky right now. Um, but I don't like getting my eyebrows waxed anymore. Anymore. Maybe one day I'll record a video telling you guys all about that. But I just like to go across the top and bottom of my natural brow and then I go in and fill in. Here's a little tip for the Anastasia Dip Brow if you're just trying it out. Because at first when I bought this product I didn't really like it but I find that a little bit goes a long way. So I like to start off with a little bit and try to just get the brow that I want and then I end up building from there. Because if you start out with a lot it kind of can be overbearing. So now I'm just trying to get my brows to match and look as similar as possible, but they're not going to be twins, so usually they end up being sisters or cousins or something. And then next I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. brush. It's just what I use for my concealer, which I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. And I like to just follow the natural brow underneath. Now if you're going for a more natural brow, you can use a foundation or something similar to your skin tone, which I'm going to be showing you in this video. But on a daily basis, especially because I go in with foundation afterward, I like to use Fawn on the top and bottom. The foundation that I'm using today is just Maybelline's uh, Matte and Poreless Foundation, I believe. And this is the shade 355 Coconut, which matches so amazingly with my skin. So I'm just using this on top so that it doesn't make my brows look like too much, even though I am going in with foundation after this. I like to take this spoolie again and just make sure everything's blended out as much as possible. And that is pretty much how I do my brow. So this is pretty much how I do my brows for an everyday basis. I like to go in a little bit more dramatic if I'm going out or if I'm just trying to look extra cute that day. But I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.